big one. Let's see if there's a way in. I think it's about to rain. This looks like it could be a chapel. Look at this. Oh, weird. This is really old. Just sitting there and I'm all going to the bar. Uh, noose. <laughs> Said someone's coming. <laughs> Where is he? Should we hide? <laughs> well, here we are. Same day that we're locked out of our Airbnb. <laughs> That'll be on the video before or after at some point, but uh. Yeah, but this is, we're filling time right now while we're locked out. And here we are, out in the middle of nowhere. There's actually quite a lot of houses around us, so hopefully we didn't get busted. Big one. Let's see if there's a way in. I think it's about to rain. This looks like it could be a chapel. So we've made it inside and most of this is stripped out but I was walking through just having a look around to see if it's worth it or not. We've got this nice like kitchen area, some nice furniture and stuff but look at this. And this is why it's called Villa Chandelier. That's insane. Absolute crazy staircase. I think the rest of it is pretty stripped though, to be honest with you. Oh, a dining room. That's still set up. I don't think there's gonna be much belongings in here and stuff. It's just more of like architecture, furniture, and chandeliers. Doors upstairs. If there's any beds in there. That staircase is insane. Kitchen. Still got all the cleaning stuff in there. Vim. Classic. Wine bottles. And a calendar from 2018. And this goes straight back into that amazing room. Wow. So I think we just take this main marble staircase up. Wow. That's phenomenal. Almost doesn't look abandoned. It's like the floor is so shiny. I think how long it must have took someone to actually hang this chandelier. The whole floor is made out of marble as well. This is like a real rich person's house. Oh, the floor. I'm guessing this was a bedroom maybe at one point. This is a bedroom. Still got all the furniture in there. It's 
like a, it reminds me of a Portuguese bedroom that I've been to before. He loved marble in this place. So they got marble countertops and everything, marble floors. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be any uh, belongings anywhere, to be honest. Bathrooms. Proper old school shower. There's not much decay in here, though. Oh, the light's dying. Another bathroom. Big bathroom. Ah, oh, it's got a proper traditional bed in here. It's like a gothic bed. It's weird, you always see this like at the end of beds quite a lot in Europe, just like two stools. No pillow. You can see they've left all the beds that used to be in here. A cot. I wonder if when they moved out they just took every, all of their stuff, yeah. just left a shell. This room's pretty grand though. Yeah. Big house with nothing left. Yeah. <sighs> this place has potential. Oh yeah, so you could renovate this to one of those amazing mansions you ever lived in. Let's see what this would have been as well. The window base. Imagine it furnished. Uninviting bathroom yeah. in the world. It's going to take a crystal of that main staircase. It's like the only, some of the only furniture left. Look, there's stuff inside. I didn't expect that. Oh, it stinks of like. Oh, mate, it stinks of chemicals, man. Yeah. Like varnish. Reminds me of when I used to polish my granddad's shoes. <laughs> I think I could probably look around in this room and you're actually going to rush straight down me and remember look at the furniture that is left. Oh yeah. An old suitcase in there. There's random stuff left behind. Mm. Please, old dartboard. <laughs> Weird. You can kind of tell what their kitchen used to look like and that is literally... Yeah, you can't tell what any of the rooms were really like. I've noticed people doing this on bins everywhere with, I think it's like vape things, but there's tons of bins that are sticker bombed now. Imagine if the fridge was full, that would be crazy. Nothing about these old fridges. Whoa. Closer look at some of the details in here. It's like multiple marble there. You've got like a green marble and then like a beige one. Nice wood trimming stained glass. If it was sun coming through, you'd see this nice like, orange sort of stained glass. So this looks so new. Yeah, it's like the floors are very clean and stuff. Big mirror as well. Massive. It's all matching as well. All the woodwork's matching. Nice little sofa, little suitcase. God, it would have 
insane in here with all this crazy furniture in place. Japanese sort of plate. Is that a door? Bathroom, what? How random is that? More stained glass. Yeah, this is the kitchen. Very modern. Yeah, like Favourite on the floor four. A new, a new kitchen. Yeah, best of both worlds. 2018. Yeah, I did film that. So it's only been left to like 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, six years. Damn. Almost. There oh no, it's living in this place. Six years ago. Imagine having this is your house. Look at that, that noose. <laughs> Weird. Nice. That's, wow, that's a nice carving on there actually. Hand carved wood. The electric. Should we just flick it all on to turn the big chandelier on? <laughs> Still got the lampshade in this room as well. And tables and chairs. Look, another fridge. A very modern fridge. This might have been a hotel, this place maybe. It's got a lot of fridges. Oh! <sighs> Quick. <laughs> Oh, that's a cheese one, that one. Look at this, they've still set up. That's beautiful. And this as well, they went marble crazy in there. Look at this. Insane. What the hell is that on the table? An oiler. So you put oil on your dinner. <laughs> So we're going to take you outside and give you a walk around the outside. It's only a short video this week, but I wanted to show you this place anyway, because it's not often you see an abandoned staircase like this. And no, it had nice bits. Nice architecture. Well, phenomenal architecture. If we came here like three years ago, this would have been the best place we've ever been to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and some people, they watch our channel just looking for Places properties to renovate. To renovate. Yeah. This is a good one. Yeah, this place has serious potential, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> I'll show you that outside anyway because it is actually really nice outside and you never know, you might find some more hidden stuff. There might be a car. There might be a car, hopefully. There's mad stuff going on in here. I'm just hearing like shuffling and moving. And I stood in there and then I heard things like, mm. Not the hell. I thought it was you, your belly or you making a noise or something. It's a good job we're uh, getting out of here. <laughs> Let's go back round. This is be cute. It's much warmer out here than inside. Yeah, I wonder what's in here. Oh yeah, I said it almost looks like a chapel because there's like a uh, religious painting on the outside. Really? Yeah, let's have a look. I mean, I'd be surprised. But... I don't know, I think a lot of places have their own little private chapels. Mm. Especially in Italy as well. It looks like a house. Oh yeah, we'll use the chapel. How do we get in, I wonder? Pooey, yeah, it smells around here. Yeah, beautiful. It has bars on the window. What that does? Can you see in? I wonder if there's another way. What's in uh, here, I wonder? <laughs> Car. Really? No way. <laughs> How did you know? Yeah. Driving in my feet. Proper time, car. Look at this tomb. Can't tell what colour it is. White, cream Beige. sort of colour. Yeah. Let's just turn the light on. Weird little garage, isn't it? It is. The inside is pristine. Yeah. Stinks of white mould in it. Look at the. What? Spanker that is. <laughs> Some paint over there. I don't think many people have been here, you know. No, maybe there's not. There's no vandalism in there, there's not, doesn't look like any traces of any other explorers. No, I mean, actually. people might just come and get the photo of that main staircase yeah, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. So Sam just said someone's coming. <laughs> Where is he? Coming around that way. Should we hide? Just go back to the car. <laughs> 
shit. I'm safe. Don't worry, man. There's nothing inside. I'm surprised you haven't got it yet, mate. I just seen him was flying down there. Unless he was just going back to the farm down there. Is I wonder that? what all that wire is. It's weird that he hadn't come around yet. I can't even hear him, so he must have gone. Let's check this trap There you go. Oh, the door's open. Quickly! <laughs> Yeah, it's not chapel, it's, uh, it's an um, empty room. Should we look anywhere else? I don't really want to meet this guy. No, I don't have time for all the Super overgrown. Hey, look! It's like a whole other house back here. I think this is probably like barn stuff, isn't it? Yeah, storage, that's a gold garret. It's weird that he's uh, taped it off. Cars? <laughs> Any more cars in here? Electric, it says. Attention. Cover electric -y. God, we've got to have a look at me. Oh, there's a bug in my hair. Oh my gosh. I want to look in here first. Nada. Just a TV. Should we have a look in that end door? I think it's going to be the same result though. Yeah, it's just done for. <laughs> I can't even open that door. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of it. She had some sort of garage business sort of thing. Minute, no. Yeah. Anyone know what this would be from? It's a lot of plastic. Yeah, yeah look, you've been taking wire out of it. Oh, uh, like yeah. Actually. Is it? No, it's not. No. Is it? Maybe. It's loads of it, whatever it is. You're making hay bite bales out of it. <laughs> Um, let's get back to the car. Hopefully that guy wasn't driving off real fast because he burst our tires. Oh, no. <laughs> Last breakfast of the trip. Hot chocolate. Yeah. Coffee. Croissant. Ah, veg amore. Lovely place. They gave us uh, two badges. Definitely come back here again. In Rome, Milan. Made it to the car, drop off. Yeah. Goodbye, little car. You served us well. I like this car a lot, actually. It's a good car, man. It's yeah. As well, it's a safe lot. Money on two of them. Adios, Citroën. I just played Tetris for about half an hour. Trying I actually to get have on. a clip of it. I'll drop it right now. I'm trying to get on the uh, scoreboard, but uh, it didn't happen. And I got pretty close, and then Sam called me over, so. <laughs> Yeah. So that is the end of the Italy road trip. What a trip that was. Real productive, real good fun, good vibes. Really enjoyed it. Definitely need to come back to Italy <coughs> soon. That was like the most videos we ever got on one trip. Nearly. Yeah, I think so. Nearly, nearly. Mm. One Portugal at one time was the most, but this is the second most. Mm -hmm. But I hope all of you guys enjoyed the road trip and we'll catch you in the next one, wherever that may be. But thank you again for watching. See you soon. <laughs> it's colder over there. Oh. No.